Can I ask you something? Why get an abortion? You may say it was a mistake. You may say you don't want to be pregnant. You may say having a baby right now will mess up your plans for the future. You may say whatever, but why purposely kill your baby? Isn't that shedding innocent blood? If you go back to the Old Testament, and if I remember correctly, maybe it is in 1st or 2nd Samuel chapter 12 or something like that, I forget. I believe it is when King David did something to kill Bathsheba's husband. I believe he gave orders for Uriah or whatever that man's name. I believe something happened to where King David wanted that man dead to cover up the thing he did wrong. But when that man died, and I don't remember how long afterward, I believe God punished David. And I think maybe not only him, but his family as well, if I, if I remember correctly. Hey. It doesn't matter if having an abortion is legal in your city or country or whatever. What matters is the laws of God. So if killing a baby or a person shedding innocent blood if that is wrong, even if your president or senator or whatever tell you that it is okay if you do it, I believe you will reap what you sow. I believe the punishment King David received was very strong. Now, I believe God will forgive you if you had an abortion. But I don't know every case. But I believe if we do evil, evil is going to come back to us. So how can we expect blessings from murder. Yes, you did not murder your baby with your own hands. King David did not murder Uriah or whatever his name is with his bare hands, but he killed Uriah indirectly. If you have an abortion, you are killing your baby indirectly. So, aren't you a partaker of your baby's death? Wasn't King David a partaker of Uriah's death? I believe it is 2 Samuel, or maybe 1 Samuel, maybe 2 chapter 12 or something like that. I may have to recheck. 
I believe the punishment for King David was harsh, which what he did was evil. Killing your baby is evil. What did your baby do? Some women may get raped. Okay. But if you was not raped and you were out there fooling around or whatever and got pregnant, deal with it. Do what you have to to take care of the baby. Don't be like, hey, I am young. I am too old or whatever or too busy to take responsibility of a baby. Hey, perhaps you should have thought about that before messing around, right? Don't kill. Would you kill a human being at the age if, how can I say this? Would you kill a 12 year old? I think most people would not. Would you kill a toddler? I think most people, most sane people, I guess, would not. I believe that. But how can you feel or even consider killing something in the womb? Because your government says it is okay? So if your government says is it is okay to kill your mama, would you do it? If your government say it is okay to beat up your parents if they get on your nerves, would you do it? No matter what law passes, if it goes against God's laws, don't do it. Listen now, I am not telling you I do everything right. There are things I do wrong, but I believe so many people believe God is only a God of love, like he is some type of princess or some type of Cupid or some type of gay God, always happy, not mad, or, you know, like something like that. God is a God of vengeance, of retribution as well, I believe. Yes, God is a God of love, but there is more to his character. Do you think you can keep on aborting or many people can continue to keep on aborting and nothing will happen from that? That is shedding innocent blood. Do you know the story of Cain and Abel? I believe Cain killed Abel. Cain had to answer, right? Cain had to answer for shedding innocent blood. I believe Cain got cursed or something. I believe something happened to Cain. Even if your politicians say it is okay to kill your baby, call it abortion or whatever, it is not okay. It is evil. Listen now. You may be pregnant now. You may not know what to do. I believe if you try to do what is right, and I believe if you hold on to God as in, don't turn your back on God as in, try to follow his rules. 
I believe if you stay patient, God will make a way for you. Yes, you may have to go through some things. You may get inconvenienced, huh? But don't take the easy way out, which is not really easy if you reap what you sow. But don't take the easy way out and kill your baby because I think that is digging the hole deeper. If you are already in the hole, but want to come out, why dig deeper? Huh? Why? 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 The deeper you dig, won't it be more difficult to get out? Man, let me stop here. All right.